Hope you finished your dinner. New yeah. information tonight about that rat infestation in Tampa that we told you about last week. Following our report, it is safe to say the area looks a lot different than it did just a few days ago. Yeah, this is such a gross thing here. That it's at so the corner gross. of Florida and Hillsborough Avenue. It's 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser explains what's being done and why people are so grateful for the rat relief. You don't want to be bitten by a rat, that's for sure. When we first introduced you to Sarita Walcott last week, the native New Yorker said she expected to see rats in the subway system of Manhattan, but never at her bus stop in Tampa, Florida. Now back at the same spot, Walcott says it's much better. And it looks nice. It looks nice and clean, yeah. Gone is the pyramid-like mound that earned the nasty nest nicknames like Ratlantis and Ratopia. And baited traps have been placed all over to vanquish the vermin. Yeah, I see a trap right there, yeah. It really takes everyone in order to fix this problem. Tampa spokesperson Crystal Clark says following our report, the city immediately contracted with one of its pest control vendors. In addition to traps, she says they're using pesticides and removing garbage and debris. Keeping that area clean is going to be a key to making sure these rodents don't come back after we catch them and remove them from the area. I'm glad they're working on it. I'm glad to see the traps. Neighbors like Matthew Andrelevich say they're already noticing a difference. It's got to be taken care of. It's been long enough. That's serious, okay? When you're talking about rats, yeah, that is serious. That needs to be cleaned up. When we know that this is happening, clean it up. The city of Tampa says its pest control vendor will be out here on a regular basis checking the traps and updating them on the progress. The pesticide, they say, is specific for rats and should not pose a threat to people, pets, or other wildlife. In Tampa, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. You called, we looked into it, and now you see that action. The city says that the rats aren't going to get rid of, aren't going to be able to go away overnight. It's a process. It could take several weeks, but they want to assure those who live and work in that area that they are doing something about it. They're aware of the issue, and they will resolve it as quickly as possible.